Welcome back to New Session. This is your trainer, mentor and PMP coach Anand. In this session, you will learn create WBS process under scope management knowledge area. The learning objective of this workshop is we'll start with the process overview. We'll go through WBS process definition, ITTOs, what is work breakdown structure, We'll talk about decomposition, what is WBS dictionary, and what is the scope baseline and its component. And at the end, we'll do a quick review. Before getting into detail, let's have a quick look at all six processes. So first one is plan scope management, second, collect requirement, third, define scope, fourth, create work breakdown structure. So first four processes are part of planning process group. Next, we have validate scope and control scope. So these two processes are part of monitoring and controlling process group. The work breakdown structure RWBS is one of the most powerful tool in the project management. Let me elaborate WBS concept through an analogy. What do you see in the picture? Great Wall of China. What do you think? What's the length of this wall? 100 km, 500 km, 1000 km, how much? You will be surprised to know the total length of Great Wall of China is about 21,000 km. The question always bothers everyone is how this could have been built. If you think of building it again, can you really build it? It looks like a gigantic or impossible project. But if I tell you, in reality, there are a series of fortifications built by various emperors starting from 7th century. Later, it was joined together to make a bigger and stronger wall between 220 to 206 BC by the first emperor of China. Imagine this series of fortification as a high-level component and collectively all components put together, it becomes 21,000 km long wall. Similarly, Project looks gigantic until they are broken into deliverables. High level components are lower level components and further into work packages. When you look at these smaller work packages, they look more realistic to achieve and manage. In previous session, we have seen two processes that are collect requirement and define scope before we create the WBS process. What is the relationship of requirements, deliverable, and WBS, which are output of these three processes? As you have learned earlier, requirements are input to build the deliverables. Deliverables will be listed in the project scope document, which is output of a defined scope process. And these deliverables will be divided and subdivided into smaller, more manageable packages, which results in WBS. The output of create WBS process is scope baseline, which is in which includes WBS. Let's take a look at create WBS definition. Create WBS is a process of subdividing project deliverables and project work into smaller, more manageable components. WBS provides structured vision of what has to be delivered. Let's take a look at WBS in the picture. This is WBS for CRM project. CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management, and it is decomposed based upon the project phases. Initiation phase has a project charter, feasibility, business case. In study phase, detailed requirement gathering and planning is done. In design and build, system design is done, and system is progressively built where complete build is divided into five modules. In testing phase, System goes through system testing, integration testing, business acceptance. And finally, in operate phase, user manuals are prepared, training is given, and application is handed over to operations team or on production. The resulting WBS looks like an organization chart, with the top level being large component and bottom level being the smallest component of work packages. This small component can be further divided into smaller ones. We understand what is WBS now. It's also equally important to understand what WBS is not. Please note that it is not a flowchart. There is no sequence of activities. 
R component. It doesn't show how project will be executed or done. It doesn't show relationship between two or more components or packages. Let's take a look at some of the key terms used in create WBS uh, process. So there is control account, planning package, work package. Let's understand them one by one. Control account. It is a management control point where scope, budget, actual cost and schedule are integrated and compared to earn value. For example, in CRM project, management might have mandated to monitor the cost of internal resources and various vendors separately through defining respective control account. Now, in this case, there are three control account, control account one for internal resources, control account two for vendor one and control account three for vendor two. These control accounts can be analyzed separately in terms of planned scope and schedule, approved budget and actual cost. And finally, understand what is the earned value, means what percentage of work achieved by spending some amount against planned value. We will talk about earn value in detail in a cost management knowledge area. Now this analysis will be shared with concerned management stakeholder, whoever mandated to have those control account defined in the project. Planning package. A work breakdown structure component below the control account with a known work content but without detailed schedule activities. For example, in this WBS, if a project manager doesn't have resources who can help him to decompose build phase of the project in detailed work packages, then project manager might decide to keep this as a planning package until he gets a required resources or expertise. This is done when management is in hurry to get the WBS of upcoming deliverables and keep future component or deliverable planned at very high level. These high level placeholders are called as planning packages. In this case, build phase and test phase both are planning package. These planning packages will be further decomposed when required resources will be allocated to the project or sometime outsourced based upon the project procurement approach. Work package. The work package defined at the lowest level of WBS for which cost and duration can be estimated and managed. In this example, feasibility study is deliverable under initiation phase. This deliverable can be further decomposed in work package like as is process study, technical feasibility, benchmarking, proposed solution. Again, this is for illustration purpose. As is process study itself can be further divided into smaller work packages. Another example in a same CRM work breakdown structure earlier we saw was build module one, build module two as a high level component. A work package can be a small functions like a user validation under one of these modules. In construction project, work package can be setting up a door or windows or wash basin under kitchen component. These work packages are used for schedule and cost estimation. Also, these work packages get converted into activities during the estimation process. General rule for a size of work package is 8 to 8 hours. Let's take a look at input tool techniques and outputs. One of the key tool and technique we are going to learn here is decomposition. So inputs are project management plan, project document, enterprise environmental factor, and organization process asset. The most important component of project management plan, that is scope management plan, is input to this process. It describes how scope will be defined, developed, monitored, controlled, and verified. It defines process to create work breakdown structure. And it may refer to WBS standards to be followed are set of rules used for decomposition. For example, when multiple teams are working, everyone should follow the similar level of decomposition. As a PM, you don't want to see one team is decomposing software development module one at two levels and other team is decomposing module two at a four different level. Project documents. Project documents that are required as inputs are 
project scope statement and requirements management documentation. Project scope statement is a description of project scope, major deliverables, assumptions and constraint. You will take deliverables from project scope statement and decompose or break them into smaller, more manageable component. For example, earlier I explained how a deliverable that is feasibility study report was decomposed in work packages like as is process study, technical feasibility, benchmarking, proposed solution. In a house construction project, main deliverables are foundation, building structure, room, swimming pool, etc. Deliverable like swimming pool can be further divided into smaller components like construction of swimming pool, setting temperature control system, etc. Another important project document is requirements documentation. So requirement documentation describes how individual requirement meets the business needs for the project. These documents might be business requirement, document, stakeholder requirement, solution requirement, transition requirement, project requirement, quality requirement, etc. It also contains assumption, dependencies and constraint. Requirement documents are helpful for understanding deliverables in detail, which will help in decomposing the deliverables. Enterprise environmental factor, there are industry specific WBS standard. These standards used in different industries for creating their respective WBS. For example, PMI has published practice standard for WBS. ISO also has published WBS for project and program management, that is ISO 21511. Let's understand how these standards will be practically helpful through an example. Do you know how much paper documentation was required to build the airplane in old days? You will be surprised to know the paper documentation weight was equal to the weight of aeroplane itself. Now imagine the complexity of communication between two manufacturers of this aeroplane components, our defense procurement. To solve this defense procurement problem, Department of Defense USA has published WBS for defense material atoms. So by adapting standard WBS, lot of ambiguities or misunderstanding can be easily reduced. Organization process assets. So you might use policies, procedures, and templates for WBS, usually created and maintained by project management office. Project files from previous project also can be helpful. If we have done similar project in the past, then it is easy to use the old WBS from that project. Lesson learned like level of decomposition suitable for a particular type of a project. Now this can be very helpful to create, yeah, to develop WBS for a new project. Tools and techniques are decomposition, expert judgment. Expert judgment. Now let's think, can project manager perform decomposition of a project on his own? In general, answer will be no, and he should not. The decomposition should be done by expert. Expert can be business SME, industry consultant, or other PMs who had done a similar project in the past. Expertise can be provided by a group or individual with a specialized education, knowledge, and skills related to the project. For example, the decomposition of software development module should be done by technical lead or architect who is responsible for that module. Expert can help in discuss and verify the degree of decomposition. They can help you to define WBS components and work packages. Decomposition is very important tool and technique. You can expect one exam question definitely on this. Now we already talked about decomposition through various examples discussed till now. Entire focus of this process is on decomposition. Let's reiterate the definition. Decomposition is a tool and technique about dividing and subdividing high level components into smaller and more manageable parts. Like taking a deliverable from project scope statement and breaking them into smaller component. The key activities involved are identifying and analyzing the deliverables and the related work, 
decomposing the upper WBS levels into lower level detail components, develop and assign identification codes to the WBS component, verify degree of decomposition is appropriate or not. If work is decomposed to a greater level of detail, the ability to plan, manage and control work is enhanced. Also, remember, excessive decomposition leads to non-productive management efforts, inefficient use of resources and sometimes decrease in e efficiency. Decomposition may not be possible for a deliverable or subcomponent that will be accomplished far in the future. Most of the time, due to unavailability of the experts dealing with those future components are deliverable. And there is also 100% rule, which means the total of the work at the lowest level should roll up to the highest level so that nothing is left out. Decomposition is achieved in various ways. These are some of the examples taken from Pinbox. WBS decomposed through work packages. This is a value management system project with a high level components like needs assessment, standards development, system engineering, project management, and needs assessment is further decomposed into current system audit, requirements determination, alternative development, system requirements development, and so on. Another example where WBS is organized by phases. Now in this case, software project is decomposed in main components, which are project phases. Phases like project management, product requirements, detailed design, construct, integration, and test. Further, project management is further decomposed into planning, meeting, administration. Another example is WBS organized by major deliverables. This is about aircraft, which is decomposed into high level deliverable based upon its main component, like project management, training, data, air vehicle, support equipment, facilities, test and evaluation. Air vehicle is further decomposed into airframe, engine, communication system, navigation system, fire control system, etc. Of course, this is for illustration purpose. In reality, there will be further level of decomposition. The output of create work breakdown structure process are scope baseline and project document updates. Scope baseline is an approved version of a scope statement, WBS and its associated WBS dictionary. This can be changed only through a formal change control procedure. It is used as a basis for comparison, comparison between what was approved and what is delivered. Now this comparison might happen at various phases yeah, whenever you are trying to provide a status report to management or any stakeholders. Scope baseline is a combination of project scope statement, WBS and WBS dictionary put together. Even though Project scope statement is the input to create WBS process. Most of the time, all these three documents are developed in a parallel. One of the mistakes generally made during exam is we think output of create WBS process is WBS. So remember, WBS is inside the scope baseline. So the key output is a scope baseline. We understand project scope statement and WBS. Let's talk about WBS dictionary. So when you look at WBS, it has a components and work packages with some sort of ID and its name. You, you cannot get a detailed understanding based upon this information. So WBS dictionary is a document that provides detailed deliverables, activity and scheduled information about each component inside work breakdown structure. It will contain information like code of account identifier, description of the work, assumptions and constraints, responsible organization who is executing that WBS component, schedule milestones, associated schedule activities, resources required to work here yeah, to complete that component your yeah, work package, cost estimate, quality requirement, acceptance criteria, technical references, agreement information if that component is outsourced. 
So all this additional information help us to understand WBS better. And all this put together, that is WBS project scope statement and WBS dictionary, we get a scope baseline. Another output is project document updates. So the assumption log and the requirement documentation may get updated as the atoms get created, updated or elaborated as a result of create WBS process. Good job, we have completed create WBS process. Let's do the quick review. We started with the process overview with the example of Great Wall of China. We gone through a create WBS process definition. You learned what is WBS along with some of the key terms. You also learn about 100% rule. And we discuss a key techniques used that is decomposition. You saw some of the example of how decomposition is done by project phases or by project uh, deliverables. We also talked about WBS dictionary and finally, what is a scope baseline and what are the components of a scope baseline, which are WBS, project scope statement and WBS dictionary.